Light left. What? I look like I took a picture. Okay, well, it's okay. <laughs> like, love, everybody. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> look, they say, give a little bit. Give a little bit of your love to me. That's what's on there, okay? Give a little bit. Okay, uh, I'm going to turn on the light. Um, anyway, so I'm getting hit with all these. Um, they want me to um, address this inheritance thing. Okay, I don't know why they're saying they want me to address this inheritance thing um, over and over and over and over. Um, address this inheritance thing um, that needs to be more, something more needs to be said about that. Okay, um, because something's going on with that right now. Um, somebody's checking into something or, okay, um, this is what I'm getting. Okay, the dude died of um, unexpected... <sighs> Overdose or something to that effect, okay? Some kind of overdose or something, okay? Um, I want to say that he was, like, poisoned, okay? Um, and um, died. But before he died, he figured out and found out what these people um, was doing to this other person. Um, he found out and he got rid of those people, okay? And, like, um, within just a couple of weeks of him getting rid of those people, they killed him. They poisoned him. Okay? This is what I'm hearing. This is what I'm getting. Okay? Um, um, they had it set up. Um, they knew he had, like, addictions or something like that. And they had it set up um, for him to receive these um, fentanyl uh, tablets or something to that effect. Okay? or make it, They was trying to make him have a heart attack. Something like that. They was trying to make him have a heart attack. Um, but they actually ended up actually killing him. Okay? Anyway, um, and they want me to, to, to uh, I don't know, we'll see what comes out, okay? Um, I don't know, they're, this is what they're wanting me to do. Um, they want me to, 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 to do this about this reading, okay? Um, I'm going to pull all these out right here and um, see if this gives me any kind of um, anything um, to start off the reading with. Um, so, some kind of energy about it. Um, cause golly, they're like on that, like, um, somebody is investigating, um, identity theft and mail fraud. Some, okay, anyway, that's what I was getting to. Um, okay, so this guy died under these mysterious circumstances, so there's an investigator on it, okay? I mean, this investigator has, um, has, uh, realized that he has met this person that claims that they're you. Um, and they wasn't claiming that they was you, okay? Um, spoke to them, um, and, um, um, seeing that it was just strange about something about how the money was tied up or something like that to him. So he, um, so he, um, he, um, started investigating it even further. Then he started seeing mail fraud. Look, this, um, the collective, um, whoever this person is, the, the message for someone, uh, whoever this person is, okay? This person has put in, like, change of addresses and stuff like that, and then it will be changed back to that old address or something, okay, um, for a period of time. Now, um, during this period of time, um, uh, this person has um, uh, come in contact with these people several, 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 several times and um, seen little red flags, like what? Like huh? Like what? Anyway, well this person left you money and they're jealous about it. Okay? Because you grew up with this person. Um, he was a bit of a bully or so, somewhat to you. Um, but you still maintained and was um, kind of nice to him um, back in the day when he was a kid. Okay? Um, even though he was a bit of a bully. Um, you, you accepted him and um, every single week you would see these people. Okay? Um, and and um, when he come across you again, he, he realized what, how he acted and stuff like that because he had, um, like, um, childhood traumas and stuff, and that's why he acted that way. Um, but, um, you know, it was years, I'm talking about years later. You was just a kid, like, not even a teenager yet, maybe. You know, you was a teenager. Yeah, you was a teenager. Okay? But anyway, um, and, um, and, um, 
the reason he left the money to you is because he knew that these people were doing something illegal behind the, your back and you had no idea. I think something to do with videotapes, um, something to do with um, something's online about you. You don't have any idea, but this is all going on um, behind your back and, and a lot of other people know about it, but nobody's speaking up. Okay? It says, enjoy the ordinary. Okay? One of the reasons we're so willingly and easily distracted is that we're not very good at dealing with the ordinary. It's boring, so we let our minds wander off to find something interesting. But boredom is often a sign of calm mixed with restlessness. If we let go of the restlessness and appreciate the stillness of the moment, there is enjoyment to be found in the ordinary. Next time you're feeling bored, sit with the feeling for a few minutes and enjoy the quiet calm of the moment. Okay? Um, it says enjoy the ordinary. Okay? Um, so, um, I just wanted to let y'all know that it says love the messenger. I, I, I have to read this. Okay? It says love the messenger. It says the number of messages coming into our inboxes and social feeds throughout the day and night can be overwhelming. One of the ways we can approach the constant bombardment is um, to think of the messages as words from actual people rather than information. Next time you open an email, take, an, take a moment to reflect on the person who wrote it, whether, it, whether or not you know them personally. Um, think about your shared humanity and wish them well. This sort of exercise before reading a message can then help you tune into the interconnected internet of people rather than the internet of information. So love the messenger, okay? Um, somebody's about to bring you a message, okay? Um, you're not ordinary, okay? You're not. You're special. Um, you shine like a... I, don't, I can't even describe the shininess, okay? You shine. Um, don't stop shining, okay? You're not, you're not, even when you're in your lowest points and depressed, you're shining, okay? Because you still want to reach out and help and heal other people, okay? Um, so, I'm going to take this off for a second. I don't know why I'm taking this off. I'm not, I'm not okay, extra, I mean, enjoy the ordinary and love the messenger, okay? Um, you got a message coming. Um, I believe it's about love, okay? And um, so just stay poised, pretty much. Okay, um, hold on. Pendulum, can you um, tell me yes or no? Um, do, is this reading about the inheritance being left to it, um, collective? Yes? Okay, stop. Okay, and, um, and oh, you're going to let us, um, you're going to lead us down some type of path? Because I don't even know how to start it, okay? Um, so, Spirit, you're going to lead us down a path um, uh, to let me know. Okay. Okay, they say yes. Okay. All right, so we're going to go with these. All right, um, what is the energy around the message about the inheritance? Okay, what is the energy around that? Um, I, I, um, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, thank you, ancestors. Thank you, angels. Thank you, ascended uh, masters. Um, Thank you, Archangel Michael, for coming down and always protecting me. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for always standing and walking right beside me um, and letting my light shine, even though they, they try to harm me, okay? Um, they don't harm me. Um, I get heart hurt, <laughs> okay? Um, but nobody's physically, I, you know, I, okay, I'm a huckleberry. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know where that's coming from, but I'm feeling this. Look, I'm this is some kind of channel, okay? I, I'm telling y'all, uh, I'm feeling this energy. It's like, whew, whew, I can't even, I can't even explain it. It's doing this, okay? <laughs> anyway, all right. What is the energy around this? What's this? Five, six. <coughs> Start from the bottom. It says the devil. <laughs> Funny, it's first card come out. <clears throat> the devil is the energy around it. Greed. Okay, this is <coughs> talking about earthly things, y'all. <coughs> Greed, jealousy, envy, um, 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 hate, all kinds of stuff. Okay, that's what the energy is involving, okay? Um, 
uh, stuff that you get addicted to, you get chained to, um, that kind of stuff, okay? Um, this also represents a Capricorn, okay? Um, in the tarot decks, the devil is the Capricorn, okay? Um, because they're, they're earthbound, okay? And the devil is... Um, um, the uh, leader of the earth, or whatever, the, the, God said he could reign on the earth um, for such amount of time, okay, um, but after that, it's a done deal, okay, um, so it's all about earthly stuff, okay, um, just like greed and, uh, I don't know, jealousy, hate, and all that kind of stuff, okay, um, the next card out is the eight, I mean the seven of cups, so somebody poured out a cup of love, okay? All right. So somebody poured out a cup of love. The Ten of Pentacles. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. I, I, let me get all these cards out so I know exactly what's going on. Because the devil has done something to somebody's love and their money. Okay? This devil per thing, okay? Um, justice is coming. Okay. Um, in this, um, to the cancer. Okay. Um, because the chariot represents cancer in the tarot, okay? But it also represents, um, something's coming in quick. Justice is coming in real quick, okay? Um, it's gonna be unexpected to you, okay? Justice is coming in on this, though. Some, the devil messed with Someone's love and their money, okay? And justice is coming in, okay? And this could be a, a Libra. Justice could be a Libra, okay? Um, but it also could be true justice, like the law. Um, this could be the law as well, okay? It's coming in quick, okay? Um, so we're going to go like this. And this right here is a, some kind of past life connection because there's two horses, okay? Um, the horses represent going through... Um, going through your past lives like your caution records on the main like you riding that horse and you got a hold of its mane and it's taking you through past lives and past um, um, car, uh, like uh, um, traumas you know stuff that needs to be healed well this horse is saying get on and ride and, and let go of all that stuff okay um, things will start just coming to you from your past and it'll start um, like ringing bells and stuff like it's crazy, okay? Um, or a past, someone from your past is passed away and they're here to help you, okay? Um, something has been really, really sad. You know what, I'm going to put this right here um, uh, about love. Um, someone's real depressed, um, and, but change is coming, okay? Um, change is coming. And love could mean um, family, um, uh, friends, um, just people, okay? Um, okay, so we got the devil here that's messed with someone's love and money. Um, justice is coming in um, like a banshee. Okay, we're going to go like this. Um, justice is coming in really fast um, for this. It could be a cancer um, um, to, to make this right in this situation, okay? Um, anything else from this card? Okay, it says the high priestess knows. High Priestess definitely knows, okay, um, from the sun, okay, okay, um, about somebody juggling her while she's in transformation, okay, um, trying to heal, okay, um, and that's the truth, okay, um, the High Priestess knows that somebody was trying to juggle her, okay, um, I'm going to get another deck, find out who the person is that's juggling her because I want a full deck. Um, to see if, because it could be any of these people here, okay? Um, the high priestess knows that somebody has done this while she was in transformation, okay? Um, because this person, okay, now it's odd, okay? Um, I've been receiving these little, through other readings, like different other readings, okay? Um, something happened a year ago, okay? Um, something happened two years ago. Okay, um, 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 as soon as the something happened two years ago, um, you received some kind of message from this, uh, person that got murdered, okay, and, um, 
you you were um, in a process of, of transformation, like you were really, 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 really depressed. You was trying to heal. You was in real bad shape, okay? Real dark night of the soul, badly. And you didn't know any way to contact that person, and you kind of let it slide, okay? Um, within a month of that, um, within a month of this person trying to contact you, um, they died within a month of that, of them trying to contact you to tell you something, okay? And you were in such a, a state of mind that you didn't really know how to reach them. Um, you didn't have no kind of transportation or nothing like that, okay? So, um, um, so one of these people, um, part of it uh, told you, hey, this person's trying to reach you, okay? Okay, so I'm going to find out, wait a minute, I want to find out, um, what the high priestess knows, okay? And the high priestess knows something. What the heck? <laughs> Balance and something. Look, <laughs> I don't even know how these cards got, got flipped around like that, but look, this is what they are, okay? Um, we got maybe an Aquarius, um, but somebody knows, okay, the Mother of Swords is saying that the high priestess was in transformation, but they've seen the light now, okay, um, uh, about this situation. Um, something's going to be balanced. Because people just been watching you suffer and hurt, okay? Um, can you tell me who, um, who's done, who's done it? It says the world done it, okay? Um, someone has messed with your love and your money. Justice is coming. Somebody may go to jail or is going to jail. Um, you've been in depression going over your past, remembering things. Um, then you was in the middle of transformation and you were juggling, but something is destiny for you because once you transform, everything's going to change. Um, you're not quite complete, um, but you know a lot of stuff and you're receiving downloads because of your past life, okay, about this situation, about this money, okay. Um, it's about to come to an end. Um, it's all about to come to a head. There's a tower coming. Okay, um, that's the truth. Okay, um, all these burdens have been placed upon this Queen of Pentacles um, for no reason. Okay, um, she rose higher, and um, it's time for her to go out into the world. Okay, because um, somebody's carrying secrets, confusing the, confusing the chariot. Okay, um, why they. But she's about to get something. Okay, now the chariot could be the police. Cancer. Um, either way, um, she's about to receive um, a bunch of, a bunch of uh, recognition, money, everything, okay? And um, be on top of the world. The devil's going to try to come back in. Okay? Um, this Capricorn um, is going to try to come back in on this queen. Uh, um, this queen of swords is saying, oh, hell no. You, no hell no. Hell um, no. I don't know. You you got some truth for me? Um, nothing but the truth. Um, so help you God. Um, that so on and so forth. Um, because he wants to bring money to her. There's the Queen of Swords and Mother of Swords. Same person. Queen of Swords is waiting on the truth because she already knows she's the she's the high priestess. Um, she knows who this counterpart is. Okay, um, they keep coming out in every single damn reading. It's a Capricorn and a Cancer. Okay, this is to do with a Cancer and a Capricorn, period. Okay, um, and an Aquarius and a Libra, from what I can see so far. It doesn't have to be that. Um, there's a Virgo involved. A Virgo is a mother figure. <laughs> anyway, um, they know too, apparently. Um, does this Virgo know? Watching you struggle. The Virgo's just watching watching you struggle. Yeah. Watching you be in hermit mode and all alone and struggling. Okay? I'm watching it. Okay? Anyway, so um, right here, um, this Capricorn wants to come tell this um, this cancer of the truth. Or, or go tell the police the truth. Um, one of the two. Okay, um, you can't get the chariot um, and the devil and the queen of swords and um, that stuff like, um, it, it, this is the truth, y'all. Okay, um, these same exact cards are here. Okay, here's the empress on the bottom of the deck. 
okay? Um, she's waiting. She's waiting on the truth from this Capricorn, okay? Um, she ain't playing. Look, she's going to get a new love. Um, she's been wounded and hurt, and for no reason, she ain't been doing nothing but sitting and minding her own business, okay? Um, but Divine has given her, telling her, hey, this is what's been happening to you. This is why um, all these people stole from you. All these people hurt you. All these people, um, they're trying to deceive you. They're trying to make you look at this while they're doing this. Now, pay attention now. See the signs. Pay attention. See the signs. You've seen them, and it was hurting you because you were healing, and the signs were hurting you. So you didn't want to look. You didn't want to see them. Because they were hurting you. Um, but who they were, who was giving you the signals and signs, okay? That was hurting you. Um, but the wheel of fortune is changing, okay? Um, the wheel of fortune is here for you, collective. Okay? Um, for whoever this empress cancer is. Okay? Alright? Um, something's been blocked. Your celebration's been blocked. Look, on both sides. They blocked it on both sides. Look. Okay? And, um, you're gonna get justice. Okay? Somebody might die. Um, maybe your relationships with these people. Um, it's gonna be put to a death. Be done and over with. Okay? No more thinking about it. None. Okay? Um, cause you're gonna get wish fulfillment. And everybody's going to get to see. You get wish fulfillment. Okay? Um, about this money. Everybody's going to see it. Everybody is going to be totally exposed. Okay? Um, got cause all kinds of damn drama. Alright? Because that's... It's just the way it's supposed to be. It's something to do with past life and past life karma. Okay? Somebody holding on to a broken heart. Okay? It broke their heart that they'd done this to you and had you all tied up and betrayed you like that. Um, you're the high priestess and you, you, you're you destined to be great. Okay? Actions being taken for the star. Um, the queen of cups. I mean, the, the two of cups for the fair lady. Okay? Um, you're moving on to calmer waters and stability. Um, that's the truth. Somebody's watching you. Okay? Um, some kind of secret about somebody watching you. King of Swords is a magician. He wants to bring you the truth about it. Or the King of Swords wants to bring you the truth about the magician. The King of Swords knows. <laughs> he knows what they... Who... <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, this is a person that is um, very... Um, most of the time, mind their own business. Okay? Um, but they've seen this injustice and they can't believe it. Um, they... they it's sort of a part of it, but they, uh, the whole time have been like, y'all, quit, don't, you know, what, but uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens there, okay? Um, somebody seen you working really, really hard to make money and to come up out of this stuff, and they want to give you balance, okay? They want to make sure that you're okay. Um, you made some kind of wish and the angels hurt you. Okay? Um, so, um... What's gonna what's taking place right now about this situation? I'm gonna take these um rider back off of here and um see what we can do. Look, the emperor says she's staying. <laughs> the emperor says she's staying out there. Cancer look, cancer chariot says she is too. Okay, they said they staying out there. Queen of Pentacles said it too, and that's the truth. <laughs> All right, so we like, we're gonna leave the the uh, them out there and put these down right here. Okay, um, put these, these rider, this rider deck up for now. Okay, um, so, all right now, so, they say take one of these books and read out of one of these books, it's going to tell me something. Huh? Okay. What? This is Nanny Dearest. Nanny Dearest. Okay, it says, one day I take them to a magic show. Uh -huh. Okay, Spirit, thank you. Thank you, Ancestors. Thank you, Angels. It says, One day I take them to a magic show in a little theater on the Upper West Side. A man who calls himself Incredible Isaac with blonde highlights and pink but kind face, okay, who I recognize from a cable TV show, stands on a little stage with red curtains and enraptures a room of children. 
He invites them on stage, lets them lets their stuffed animals join them. He makes coins come out of kids' noses, makes his wand go limp. Sparks of fire come out of the blue kerchief. Something's y'all that's that's sparking me. Some kind of, somebody's been doing magic and illusions on children. Um, there's something deeper here, y'all. Um, this is a, under investigation. I'm telling you. Um, all of this is under investigation. All of it. Something is going on. And, and, and it's not just to do with this inheritance, okay? Um, it's to do with um, magic, um, being uh, just overly greedy, and just just unconcerned about anybody else but their self. Um, there's something else going on, and it's something to do with children. Okay, it says, no, I'm not allergic. I would be, it would be easier to say she were, wouldn't it? But what if she got thrown out instead of the cat? Mrs. Keller and the creature sit there. The three of them avoid, the three of them avoid sor sordid virgin with her infant Christ. Uh, they, they don't want to see the picture of um, the Virgin Mary with, their, with her infant Christ. And perhaps a fuzzy lamb. Okay, a painting Annie saw in her grandmother's house years ago, the light dancing atop their heads. The image is too perfect, so picturesque, and Annie knows nothing on earth can look this sacred unless it's harboring of something else. A bad omen from the devil himself, as her grandma would say. Even ever since that night when she was spitted, scratched by the dying cat, Oh my God, she was trying to help. Annie has hated them, their tiny, mean eyes, okay? Um, their lack of loyalty. Annie can't understand them. She can't give them love and expect love in return. Okay, it says, Tiger is a Trojan horse, and Mrs. Keller is at fault for bringing it into the home. Okay, so there's a Trojan horse here, and... um. Um, let me check, let me check my time on my phone, y'all, cause, um, it, it'll mess up. Okay, I got like five minutes, okay? Um, alright, so, I want to ask the pendulum something, okay? Um, so, is, um, is, is this investigation to do with somebody hurting children? Um, and it's gonna expose this other investigation? It says Yes. Is there some kind of ring of children nappers or something like that? Like kidnapper? Or is there some kind of... There's something bigger happening than this, just this investigation on this inheritance, right? Y'all see that? It says yes. Okay. Okay, stop. So these people that has done this with this inheritance for... Um, this empress, um, they know that she knows now? Yes? Stop. Do they know that they're going to go to jail? Yes? Okay. Um, I just wanted to ask that, okay? Um, and and, and, and um, whatever's going on with this Something is happening. Somebody's using magic on children. Hold on. Is someone using magic on children? Pendulum. Is someone using magic on children to harm them? Yes. Hotel California. That's uh, magic and mind control. Look it up. Look up the um, references from that from that song. That's what song. Up in head in the distance, I saw a shimmering light. Um, they 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 steal the beast um, with their stilly knives. Um, they 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 stab at it and um, they they hurt these children with a fork. Y'all look up old uh, readings of mine. Um, someone was stabbing a child with a fork to hurt them to take their to take their energy. Um, to take their joy, okay? Anyway, like and love and see you on the flip side.